<laughs> Robert and Alan are here, uh, and uh, this is the final main stage show of the summer, uh, big production, which is nonsense. And I thank you guys for putting me on to the guy uh, who who wrote this because that was one of the. It was meant to be like a seven-minute interview, and it turned into be like a 13-, 14-minute interview because he just had so many great stories, Alan. Uh, we listened, and we were like, all right, they they're just keep going and going, but it was wonderful. We were wrapped with attention. <laughs> You're very funny. He was very, you were a very good interview with him. It, we, it, well, you know, it's funny when you find out when somebody, especially like, like that, it's like when somebody does something early in their career, and it, it stamps them. It stamps them for the rest of their career no matter what. Uh, but not that's the only thing that he does, but it, it really did set his agenda and, and set himself for a career, and it was really basically completely unexpected. Right. Well, we love Dan Goggin. We call him Danny, but, oh, maybe your listeners won't hear that, but he's terrific, and he is nothing but supportive, and, like you said, he's been around forever, and he has some wonderful, wonderful stories. Now, he'll be coming up here to see the show, he said, right? He's coming up the last weekend, yep. He's going to come the last weekend. Well, if we can get him over to the station, that would be nice. I'd like to. I'd yeah, like to see him in person. Uh, anything is possible. Um, <laughs> anything is so. So nonsense runs through September fifteenth. But then I was. I was mentioning on the air today. I when I went to your website, uh, you've got uh, three real special events coming up. I'll start off with uh, your first special event, which is your spotlight gala, and we'll let Alan do that one first. Oh, okay. We'll let you do the other one, Robert. We are so thrilled and excited this year to offer um, the attendees of our Spotlight Gala the wonderful, wonderful recording Broadway Grammy-nominated star Maureen McGovern. She's coming to perform here on the Playhouse stage, first time ever that she's going to be here, and we just couldn't be more tickled pink that she's going to sing her hits, Morning After, We May Never Love Like This Again, um, Different Worlds, Great Standards of the Broadway stage as well, and... um, we're so looking forward to, to that. Now, you don't just have to pay for the whole big shebang, um, which would be lovely if you did, because there's going to be some lovely food and cocktails and all that kind of good stuff. We are offering a show-only ticket uh, for those who just want to come see the show and then a little meet and greet afterwards here on this patio. And uh, that's going to start, well, I'm looking at, at 6 o'clock with cocktails and a light supper for the people that do the full long thing at the Bach Gallery, then the performance at 7.30, and then at 8.45, the meet and greet and champagne afterwards. Uh, that seems about right. And there's also a little auction going on in there of some lovely prizes and it is, good things. It is our things. final fundraiser of the entire season. So if anyone wants to come out and support us, who loved what we've done for the season, come for the whole thing. You get the the cocktail hour and then the show and the champagne. Anything we can do to keep supporting the theater until the end of our year would be great. All right, now, for, for somebody that wants to do the full-blown thing, what's the full-blown ticket price? Um, it's $250 if you want to be a sponsor, 150 for the show and the ticket. And uh, for the cocktail party, and the fifty dollars for just the show only. So, so there's three different levels three different in which you which yeah. you can participate at. It's all on the website. Uh, explanations and such. SharonPlayhouse.org, and then the, the next one, which was uh, I, I was notified of the next one actually uh, by uh, the uh, Sharon Daycare Center, and that's St. Patrick's in September. So let's talk a little bit about that fundraiser. It's a great fundraiser. We love the Sharon Daycare; they've been very supportive to us. <laughs> but the event on September 28th is a cocktail luncheon afternoon. It's the uh, it's. It's uh, St. Patrick's in, sept- in September, so we'll have some Celtic food, some Celtic beer, some Celtic entertainment, uh, some Celtic dancing going on. So, you know, you've had Christmas in July, but we thought it'd be fun to have St. Patrick's Day in September. Just a nice fall event uh, in support of the Sharon Daycare and to support the Sharon Playhouse as well. And Wildcat Creek Band is going to be playing. And now, am I pronouncing this cor- correctly? The Danby Project will be dancing? They are. Yes, that's exactly it. If you like clogging and like Irish dancing, there's going to be some uh, some Wait, students. Is Michael Flatley coming? No, Michael uh, Flatley's not coming. Okay. No, no. <laughs> but it should be a lot of fun. It's like a two hours, a two hour event inside the Bach Gallery. You know, it's funny when you talk about Irish dancing. Years and years and years ago, when the Yankees uh, were going to the World Series, uh, my father-in-law had tickets to either the Yankees or to see the uh, Irish dancing, which was uh, at. Uh, uh, I forget who was who was, who, was, uh, who was doing it. It was the guy who originally did Lord of the Rings, uh, McLaren. And and I lost, and I got tickets to see that, that show. And I was never so amazed as as to what a show that 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 really was. How they move their feet so fast is it, it's, amazing. It's, it's like beyond, they're not connected to the bodies. Not, it's weird. <laughs> 
So come and see some of that on September 28th. And then after after that, uh, you have one more special event coming up, which is basically uh, harking back to last year, and that is when the HMS Pinafore sailed in here, uh, and you're doing that in, in association with the Salisbury Sinfonetta? Absolutely, uh, Jack Bauman and the Sinfonetta. We decided last year was such a success, and everybody had such a wonderful time and wanted to see it. We do Pinafore this year, as opposed to Pirates last year, and we've added another show. So we're doing Saturday night and a Sunday matinee. And and anybody that has and what's great about your 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 events, first of all, everything is family friendly, uh, and that which means you can bring your kids uh, and your grandparents. Once again, it goes along with basically what you've done here over the course of the summer. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to let you keep going. <laughs> Gee, I thought Robert was going to talk. <laughs> no. Uh, no, absolutely. Uh, we we want everybody to be able to come and enjoy. Um, as we always say theater for the community so that's what this is and so you had mentioned family friendly family friendly is exactly what we're looking for um nothing too much come and just have a good time yeah. a little education maybe for the little kids with gilbert and sullivan nothing wrong with that now are you surprised did now i know that for us and for, for for spectators the season seems to have gone by very quickly is it the same way with you i know when cast members it is when the shows it seems like they open up there's a lot of hard work but all of a sudden you blink your eye and it's gone by oh i can't believe it's already the last show opening the final show of the season here it, it, a blink of an eye you said it it's exactly what it is it's gone so fast this year yeah we were just actually talking about that uh yesterday it's like really nonsense is opening oh well there it is but as you mentioned we had these three already scheduled events and i'll give your listeners a little preview as well um last year we had a string quartet in november and that again went so well that we are going to do another classical evening in uh, mid late uh, november, november rather sorry uh see my head is amazing um check the website it's going to be wonderful in the box and we're looking forward to that and our holiday show in december was such a hit that we had to add an extra show we are definitely bringing back the holiday show oh, around yeah. around the holidays, Christmas time. And so, so basically, you're you're going on with what you really started last year, where it's it, it's not totally totally year round, but it's about as year round as you can possibly get. Uh, In the wintertime, especially well, up here, yeah. We all know what the weather's like up here. So so this is it. And also, one more. We're looking at uh, at the end of October as well. Uh, we're looking at showing if I can get the rights to it to um, Rocky Horror Picture Show, the film to do in the theater with the screen and everyone can get the little plastic bags with the squirt guns and the popcorn everything you can throw at the screen everything you're used to interactive theater with that um, with that movie well, that'll be a bit that'll be a big that'll be a big blast that'll be a lot of fun so for a lot of people we don't know if the weather's going to hold up as far as how warm it'll be so bring your parkas bring your coats and just have fun watching a movie in our cold theater <laughs> we'll never know what the weather's going to be like so now so let's talk a little bit about nonsense which is running right now uh for your last final for the next couple of weeks uh i didn't realize uh that there's different there's different sh people that do the show and and when i was doing the interview uh, with uh, with mr goggins I, he said that this the, the crew that's up here the main crew is really one of his one of his favorite it is uh, it, they are they are all terrific uh, robert and i actually know pretty much all of them um they da, uh, the way dan does the show when he is one of the sponsors or helps put it together he will recommend um his people uh, he did recommend these ladies which and again we knew most of them were like well absolutely how could we not do it if they're all available and willing um this show has been around for a long time as you know and it, regional theaters do it they do their own productions of it but we wanted to do an authentic production true to what Danny wrote. And so using a lot of his people, who are actually friends of ours as well, it just seemed like a no-brainer. Yeah, it's, the premier, it's a New York premiere cast. I think some of these women did it off-Broadway. It ran off-Broadway for 10 years. What's, what's, what's amazing about the show is that even though it's an old show, it's still very contemporary for today's times. Yeah, the, hu the humor in the church... That the, that the humor doesn't change. No. no, that all stays the same. And they do, and they do keep adding extra elements into the show to keep it timely. Yeah, it, Danny's always updating. Uh, sort of like how Forbidden Broadway always adds new things when they do new versions. Uh, Danny makes sure all of his uh, nun shows, nonsense, nonsense, amen, nun, uh, nun sensations, uh, nonsense jamboree. There's oh, so many great versions. Nun. I just love the title of that one. There's so many um, great nonsense. But he always shows. makes sure that they are ready to go for today's audience. Yeah. And he mentioned that it's opening tonight here, and I forget what country he said it's also opening up in. Uh, oh, yeah, like Yugoslavia or something, <laughs> something, something like that. So if you can't get here and you're going to Yugoslavia, <laughs> you can you can get, no, to, get to Sharon, Connecticut. Come see our show here. Because you won't need a translator. 
Now, uh, the cabaret after the show, that, that, that's, still, that's still going on, right? Well, actually, it is and it isn't. Um, uh, we had not planned to do a cabaret after th- these shows on Friday and Saturday nights uh, because there's only five ladies in Nonsense, and if you come and see the show, which you should, uh, they are singing their faces off. And so I didn't want to make them, for lack of a better word, uh, as part of the gig. But opening, uh, actually, the last cabaret for Joseph, they all came to, to it, and they all turned to me and were like, Alan, we want to do one. So the all- last weekend, we will be doing one, most likely on the Friday night yep. of the last weekend of the show, and that would be the 13th, Friday, <laughs> Friday the 13th. That's a great night to do a cab right now. Another thing that you implemented this year, which I think is pretty cool, is you remind everybody beforehand, uh, because you've got a full bar here for people to, to enjoy before the show and after the show. But uh, if they order their drinks ahead of time, and that way everything goes much quicker when you're in intermission. Absolutely. Um, it's uh, it's not a new idea. It's just a new idea up here. And when Robert and I... In, um started it last year we thought oh why not the lines get very long at the bar uh rocco and nancy and jeff do a really great job but let's face it 300 people all clamoring in 15 at, minutes in 15 minutes um so what we do is if you pre-order your drinks snacks beverages before the show um they will be waiting for you at the bar you don't have to wait in line you just go to the end of the bar there's a big sign with a big finger that's pointing here's your stuff and you pick it up and you go and no waiting in line now finally uh How's the season gone? I mean, from from what you uh, what you started with and where you are now, how do you feel? Uh, it's this. <laughs> I'm amazed and blessed with this community and how they how they keep coming to the shows. It's just we've we've surpassed where we thought we'd be, and it's just been such a great season. It's just everyone has loved everything we've done, and we just so appreciate that they keep coming back over and over again. So to all the shows. appreciative. Yeah. We thought last year did very well. I think you know that, um, and it did do very well. And we thought, oh, you know, if we can just equal that, that would be wonderful. We would be very happy, and we have so surpassed yeah. it in every respect. Um, the shows are bigger, uh, the audiences are bigger, the parking lot is fuller. Um, it's just, it's been so wonderful. And I like what you've done also on, on your social media presence by putting clips of the show up uh, and, and showing people what they can actually yeah. see. We're, uh, videotaping. We're videotaping tonight, so you'll see the new promo tomorrow afternoon for the Nonsense Show. Well, maybe Sunday. Maybe, maybe Sunday. tomorrow. I want it tomorrow. <laughs> And and I love uh, the pictures of the audiences at the end of the show. I th- I think that's a that's a great idea. Did you steal that from somebody, or is that your idea? Well, we used to do another in other shows we've done. We always just did a cast photo with the audience, but I, we took it one step too, further and did the video because we want to hear. <laughs> you almost said too far. I did no, it's, <laughs> please. That, nothing's too far with us. You know, these people know that by now. So we just do the audience video selfie, so then we get to hear the audience reaction at the end of the show, and it's honest. We don't make anyone do what they want, don't want to do, so if they don't feel like clapping, they don't. But luckily for us, this year, everyone has stood up and rallied around these selfies. So if you find yourself in the video, tag yourself and make sure we know you were here. <laughs> Always promoting this one. Always. All right, well, Alan, Robert. Yeah, we uh, want to say thank you to you and Robert Huwedi for all the support and you being out here with us every, every opening night has been uh, fun and it's amazing and we love that you were with us. So it's thank always you. a pleasure to speak with thank you. Thank you for your support. Well, it's, it's just been a blast and once again we've got a lot of good feedback from the different restaurants that have supplied the picnics and stuff like that so uh, it's hard to believe that the summer is coming to an end but there's three more big events coming up at least right off the bat. Uh, good luck for the rest of this show and and Alan and Robert thanks you guys have done a whale of a job for Sharon. Thank, thank you, you so Marshall. much. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you.